movie with plenty of action based on the very popular video game. Joining us in the studio with Aaron this morning, Need for Speed director Scott Waugh, who also directed last year's action hit, Act of Valor, and spent more than two decades as a stuntman before he retired full-time on the safer side of the camera. Aaron Paul and Scott Waugh. Welcome to the Bob River Show. Hi, guys. Hey, hey, hey but I, I love your voice. Oh, thank you. I, oh, I'm sorry. I, I know I won't sound good doing this, but I was going to say, what's up, bitches? <laughs> <laughs> what's up, bitch? Yeah. No, that's you. That's totally you. First off, welcome, both of you. Uh, I have a lot of questions about this movie. I have to first uh, just say, Aaron, uh, what a groundbreaking role. What an amazing thing that was. And I know you've, uh, you've talked about it incessantly, and everybody's asked you a million questions. Uh, but it is something, it's immortal almost. It'll stand the test of time. There's, it's a timeless piece. I, uh, I think so, yeah. I mean, I just feel so, um, so blessed that I was just such a huge, um, huge part of it. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely a role of a lifetime, yeah. As a viewer, to sit there and watch your performances, I mean, man, I worried about you. Yeah. And, that, and, and that's, that's, you know, when you're an actor and you're so beat up and you're going through so much that I'm, I'm so bought in that I'm like, I hope the guy, I hope, <laughs> I actually hope Aaron is okay. <laughs> because it looks like, you know what I mean? It, like, yeah, it was... Uh, did you go through any hard times during it? Um, yeah, it was, personal hard time. Yeah, it was. It was pretty. It was pretty exhausting. I mean, it, it, you know, anyone that is a fan of the show uh, saw Jesse just kind of get beat up and tormented, you know, throughout. Uh, like, did you have real people beat you up so that they could shoot it and it would look good, or is that all act? <laughs> no, it's definitely all. I mean, we we. Uh, I mean, I I got hurt a little bit throughout the throughout the series, but not nothing too uh, nothing too ah. intense. Well, I saw the I saw the screening for Need for Speed. I saw the and and. I worried about you, and I, <laughs> that I feared too, yeah. for you. And yeah, I, it, and I, did you get beat up? Or I mean, <laughs> uh, this movie, I got to see the screening of it. And Scott, uh, first off, two things. Bob said you were on the safer side of the camera. I think that when you destroy about eight million dollars worth of performance vehicles, it's probably not a safe place to be sitting. You, I think you destroyed every car in this movie at some point, or at one point or another. Yeah, that was uh, that was my hope. <laughs> <laughs> well, how, how do you now, how do you get permission? How much, the, how much of it is CGI and how much of it is there's real steel? None. There's no. I, I'm a, I come from that world of stunts, man. We do we do stuff for real. Right. And, uh, I grew up with my father being a stuntman, and uh, we worked on you know he, uh, we I, he worked on like Bullet, French Connection, Vanishing Point, Smokey, and we did all these movies that were real. And that's this what we really wanted to do, pay an homage. To so the movies. era that you were a stuntman, you're saying, is more real than the sissies that are doing it now. Is that is that what you're saying? No, what they're doing now is is really more. Wi it's just wi trying to bait them. Wire it's like smoking no. fake meth. Yeah. You know, they don't do it right. Yeah. You know. It's just different now. It's different now. It's different now. Safer now. Um. Yeah. Do they have like a concussion guy like they have in the NFL to make sure you didn't get no, hurt? They, have, <laughs> they do wire work and all this stuff that really protects the stuntman from actually ever hitting the ground and stuff. Now I heard that you, while doing this, you got to work with such great movie makers that you were studying movie making while you were a stuntman, and yeah. you were like, that's how you learned how to do it on the other side. I, I, I grew up on the set, so uh, I really got so blessed and lucky to stand next to and watch Oliver Stone, Michael Mann, Steven Spielberg, you go on the line and it's just like, I got the best education by the best in the business and uh, it was just a, uh, a once in a lifetime opportunity. All right, now I have a question about these uh, racing scenes, the mm. fast scenes. Which, how fast did you, uh, did you say you're going in the movie? Well, in, in the, one of the first race sequences of the movie, you guys are street racing. Did yeah. you have to shut the entire city down to yes. get this? Yes, a real shut the real. I mean, what this city? thing that was making Georgia, right? Yeah, yeah. Was, they were happy to shut the city down. Nothing was happening. There, I mean, right? and yeah. you and you don't. You, it's not like Bob asked kind of jokingly earlier that they just drive about sixty and then speed up the film. No, you guys were haul assing through the streets of Macon. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we <laughs> we were, and we saw the city, and they, I go because we wanted to do that for real, and I said, where can where can we do this? And they go, you got to go to this town called Macon because it's so picturesque, but for some reason there's really not too many people that live there anymore. Mm -hmm. And so we went there, and it was like, it is what you'll see in the film, but it truly is kind of a little bit of a vacant city, so at night we could shut down the whole city. and We could, yeah, it was, we could lay a lot of rubber down. It, it was awesome. It, it's funny you, you say that because one of the first movies I remember, a big action movie with lots of cars, it, when I saw as a kid, was Macon, Macon County, County Line. Line. Yeah. yeah. Did you, did, 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 That's did, awesome, right? Yeah. 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 No, seriously, yeah. I thought the same thing. I didn't, yeah. I didn't know it was Macon. 
Macon, Georgia. So, man. so how many? Th- that first, that first race scene, that which, and I get motion sickness, so I threw up about three times after the movie. <laughs> awesome, I'm Great. serious. Good. Well, no, I got, a, I got, I got an embarrassing confession to make. I saw the movie screening, and you know, it's late at night. It's on a weeknight, so I'm in the fifth level down at the uh, parking garage, the Pike Place, and I go down afterward. And I'm all jacked up from watching this movie, and I hop into my Honda Odyssey minivan, and I'm trying to squeal wheels. I'm yeah. coming up, trying. Okay, I'm hitting 80, uh, four, 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 thir- 28 mile an hour. <laughs> on these turns, I guess I was, I was just you so You see pumped. the sign that says 35 mile an hour. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, it's for losers. I'm going to do 36, man. I, I'm, I'm going to do it. so pumped at this movie. Right. I would watch Breaking Bad, by the way, and I would have a triple cappuccino afterwards <laughs> to see maybe how you were feeling. How, how many, even that first sequence, those three muscle cars, which are gorgeous cars. Yeah. Did you yeah. did you crack a couple of them up filming that, or did you get the through air, without any? Could get uh, that one. Well, <laughs> the Gran Torino, you know, the car... Uh, that my character drives in that race. Um, we had two identical, beautiful, gorgeous cars, and they 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 restored them all to to make them like race cars, oh, yeah. and they were perfect. And uh, during one of the one of the shots in the race, um, they were flying around the corner. Troy, one of our stuntmen, flew around the corner and just slammed it into a wall. They're supposed to. <gasps> Just skid around this corner yeah. and go into this uh, through the alley, right? And then yeah. just slammed into the wall and just to destroyed it. And it weep was just, a little bit, don't you? I did. I yeah. did. We were so bummed because him and I've been fighting for the Gran Torino after who gets it after it. <laughs> yeah, because they were such great cars. And then it was down to one. So right now we're still now we're it's still like, just like let's uh, wrestle right now. Take shirts yeah. off. Oh. When it gets dark. Come on, come on, come on. We got a camera. We got some evidence right here. It'd be great. Oh, I love it. All right, tell me something about about doing this kind of movie that no one would expect behind the scenes. Like uh, when you're getting uh, these cars ready to go. Like, is there anything you do to make it feel like camera angles, things you do to make it more exciting? Because it's uh, there's yeah. got to be some technique, right? Yeah. Well, you know what? I was just like, you know, being a st- uh, stunt man, I've seen a different perspective uh, that most pretty much no other director has only because I was a stuntman. And You've seen it from the point of view of yeah, the person they're shooting. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. right? So I, I have a, I just seen stuff that to me is like the old S, can I, can I cuss in your head? You can say can S. Can I say S? We, we can say S. Oh, shit factor. Bitches. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Never mind. We sure, the person well, that's okay. You know yeah. our listeners on the internet enjoyed that. Day. Perfect. <laughs> good, good. Uh, you never know. I mean, hey, they say it in TV, so I don't know how we can do it on the FCC. But, uh, so, with this film, I wanted to put the audience really from that perspective, like Act of Valor. I wanted you to put you in the boots of a Navy SEAL. With this one, I really wanted you to see it how the racers see it and experience it. So mm. I think it's, a, it's an experiential feeling. In the, in yeah. the that's what you, right that's what you yeah. bring to it from your yeah. point of view. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, uh, do you really play a lot of video? I mean, your character played video games. Do you guys, uh, you know, how much? To be honest, no, no, no. Not, not really. Um, no, my life was a video game. Yeah. <laughs> You've so been in lucky. a video game. Yeah. 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 I've been in one. I can't get out. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of the game. It's like a Matrix kind it of is. thing. <laughs> yes. It is. They wake up and go, it someone's is. controlling you with a I'm joystick. I'm worried my players are going to run out here. I'm going to have no more lives. <laughs> So this at the culmination, and not to give, I'm not going to give too much away, but this is based on a, an actual video game. Yeah. Right. So it's not like I can give away secrets because fans of this movie are going to be super fans of this video game. Uh, the De Leon, the race at the very end of this, there's you know you have these muscle cars in the first, but the the finale, which was going on for I don't know how long that race took yeah. in the actual movie sequence because time just kind of stopped. But you destroyed almost every car in this race, but through yeah. through through the finale of getting to the the winning of the De Leon. Now when you've got a car that's worth you know. Literally, I mean, these cars are two half, and a half million. million. I mean, per car, two and a half million. Yeah, some of them per are two car. And a half, so, yeah. so yeah. when you when you flip something over and smash something up, is it is it just the body of an expensive car on top of a gremlin? I mean, because oh, I, yeah, I know yeah, these, yeah, yeah. These, I know these cars are expensive. The <laughs> yeah. engines are really nice, and the suspension's top shelf. You know what? So, uh, you know, the way I mean, I personally look at it is those are like art pieces. You know, yeah. I just I wouldn't I, I personally wouldn't do that. You know, so. Uh, and they're not safe. They're not built to wreck like that. Right. So what we did on, we actually wrecked the cars. We built replicas nah. to look like it, but we had to manufacture great roll cages and gotcha. protect the stuntman inside uh, and not wreck two and a half but million. But right. these replicas were insane and oh, yeah. so fast. I mean, these these cars are like, what, $300,000 yeah. for they a replica. In- will, I mean, this be, that's- will this be a really depressing movie for Jay Leno to see? <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh no. Yeah, 
But I think uh-huh. what's is it what's I think I hope what's surprising is there's a great story in the oh, middle yeah. of the movie, you know. And I think that was the one thing we wanted to bring back is that it's not a, just a car movie. It's an emotional, heartfelt revenge redemption movie wrapped in a crazy, crazy car world. Aaron Paul and Scott Wall. The uh, Need for Speed opens Friday, March fourteenth. And uh, and what else are you up to? I, I almost want to call you Jesse. I know you. It's get okay. That. It's like I get it Kirk. all yeah. the time. Yeah. Um. Uh, I got a, a a few movies coming out. Um. This year, I just wrapped up on a film called Exodus. Uh. Ridley Scott dir- directed it. Um. Who's he? What's he done? Uh, he's he's, he's done, yeah. He's he's, 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 he's been in he's been, he's been in the been business for a little <laughs> for a little me. bit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um. But you know, it's the story of Moses and uh, Christian Bale plays Moses, and I I play. Uh, kind of his right hand man, Joshua. Moses had a right hand. Moses had a wingman. He did have. That's a very man. interesting. Yeah, jo- I can't jo- see that. Joshua, you know, kind of helps out uh, Moses freeing the Hebrew slaves. <laughs> Any chariots destroyed in this movie? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> quite a bit, my friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we talked about Need for Speed because some people might think. You know, Breaking Bad, Need for Speed. Oh, he just same does title, meth yeah. movies. That's all yeah. he does. Because <laughs> <you know? laughs> uh, Breaking Bad was the Need for Speed. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, by the way, I had someone tell me something about that uh, that show that I I don't know if everybody uh, got it, but it's like one of the best anti drug messages ever. Oh yeah, that, absolutely. Yeah, and then Richard Lewis, the comedian who was famously in rehab, he he tweeted that if that show had been out when he was young and getting into drugs, it would have showed him that it's pointless to get into drugs, and he thinks it would have kept him sober. I, I, I completely agree. So many recovering, uh, just people that, that are in recovery have come up to me and said, thank you so much for um, doing a show that really shows the raw, honest truth of that dark world. And, and that was part of the feeling. I took the tour, the limousine tour of Albuquerque. Did you? Oh, He's I saw all your plays. I saw, yeah, I'm a total freak. But I, I love t- that. They're restraining me because they're like, <laughs> make sure you talk about the movie. But look, I have look to what do he brought us all yeah. back from Albuquerque. I love like, that. Yeah. You the candy He's ladies? Yeah. Yeah. Candy. Yes, so anyway, when I'm taking the t- see, here's the thing. Albuquerque is this kind of run-down city. It is, yeah. And the people of Albuquerque, they have sort of mixed emotions. Rah, rah, tourism. We're on the map. Math. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a, you know, that, but but uh, they're very proud. The people there treated you fantastic. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, it, it was the support from Albuquerque and, you know, all of New Mexico was uh, was incredible. I got bags from the car wash. I got little air fresheners to hang. Yeah, I, I went in, there and then I got. Uh, it went to. Uh, <laughs> He's a freak. I know. Dude, I'm telling you. I, I went love to, that. I went I to Walter that. White's house, yeah. and um, and Lisa and I are standing there, and the owners of the home came out. They're yeah. the sweetest people. They are the greatest people. They love it. Did, I expected get off my lawn. <laughs> no, thousands of people go to their house every weekend. They really do. Still, and yeah, they were still. actually sort of bumming out the that it might is, fade away. People throw pizza on their roof. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. They do. They oh really actually gosh. throw. They said they say once about every week or two they have to go up and like take all the pizza, take all the pizza down. Oh.